Danico was a beautiful person. Keep you laughing, keep you smiling. I, I, I just don't understand how can someone just scoop her life up like this so fast. When she was just 22, her birthday was July the 24th. She never got a chance to see her 23rd birthday. In July 2016, Joanne Lewis's niece, a transgender woman named Daniqua Dodds, was allegedly shot during an attempted robbery by Shereem Hall and another man. I'm wondering, what type of judge, what type of judge is he? About three years earlier, Hall and a group of other men broke into a home, held a family hostage, robbed them, and set their car on fire to allow them back on the street. He was convicted of a conspiracy to commit a crime of violence while armed, a charge that comes with a five-year mandatory minimum. But he was sentenced under the Youth Rehabilitation Act, which offers leniency to offenders under 22 years old. As a result, Hall was just sentenced to probation, leaving Lewis wondering why. Mr. Hall supposed to have been locked up, but because of this youth act, he got back out on the streets. John Ray was on the city council when the Youth Act passed in 1985. He was the only member to oppose it in committee. The, the crime raid and the overdose and just the uh, very uh, unpleasant situation that existed with uh, uh, drugs at the time, uh, I think, was a motivation uh, behind the law. And uh, the Judiciary Committee, uh, they thought that, you know, we need to do something uh, to save these youth. I would say that we have a, um, a value in this city that youthful offenders should be rehabilitated and uh, that's why we have a system set up for um, youth, uh, youth offenders to re rehabilitate them, uh, educate them, and get them um, straightened out before they graduate to um, be adult offenders and uh, commit adult crimes. There was no discussion about how, once this was set up, this, you know, the youth rehabilitation and the facilities uh, to do, uh, there was no money <laughs> allocated to do this. So it was just another, you know, false promise, uh, another sort of hope, but no reality uh, to doing this. I don't think anybody expects leniency for violent criminals. I mean, that's not the, and certainly not the view I get from the people that I represent. Uh, they don't want people uh, to, for minor, nonviolent drug offenses. Um, people don't want a young person to throw his or her life away because of a conviction for a minor, nonviolent crime. But uh, people feel very strongly that a person can't be allowed to victimize. Um, and victimize again and victimize again a person, a community, or a neighborhood. But the Washington Post found that violent criminals are often given lenient sentences through the Youth Act, and the consequences can be deadly. At least 120 defendants convicted and sentenced under the Youth Act have gone on to be charged with murder in the district since 2010, according to the Post's analysis of available sentencing data and court records. Any research that shows uh, that the Youth Act is being misapplied and is making D.C. less safe uh, will require um, a close policy examination. Lord, I miss you so much. I miss you, boy. I miss you. I have her on the table. I can talk to her. I talk to her every day. You know, we'll never get over it, but to try to move on a little bit with our lives. It's so hard because of the system is so messed up. And his mother don't let me forget. She called me every day. Did you talk to D? I said, I sure did, baby. I said, did you talk to him? She said, yeah, I talked to him every day. I said, okay. <laughs>